Hello, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio and welcome to your practice today. I don't know if all of you face this, but every time the seasons change, I have this weird sort of reaction to it, maybe just physically and emotionally, particularly between summer and fall. There's like this late summer, which is acknowledged in traditional Chinese medicine as the earth element, this sort of late summer kind of weird transition period in which digestion seems a little bit off. I feel a little bit kind of worried, overworked, a little bit more stressed out. Everything seems to be moving super fast and it affects digestion and the body and functioning all together. So I try to do a digest and detox sort of transitional season change. This can be used between any seasons. So don't think it's just for the summer to fall. And that's what we're going to do today is a restorative for seasonal transition. So all you're going to need is a chair. Any chair will do. It doesn't have to be a folding chair and two blankets or beach towels or towels from your bathroom. Now, if you have a bolster, you can replace the bolster with these, uh, for some of the pose, especially for the first pose, but I've actually been liking the blankets. So what we're going to do with our blankets or beach towels is we're going to fold them. So they're kind of a little bit skinnier than usual. We're going to do like a four section fold. So it's a little bit taller. This would be about the height of a normal bolster. And we're going to take them so that we can lean down on them and do a little twist. So twists are super healthy for detoxification. So we're going to take our hip right up against that stack. If you're taller, you might have to move a little bit further away from it. Hands on either side and kind of twist yourself around. Use a little bit of leverage here to twist and settle in. Now you can leave the knees stacked on top of one another. Or you can start to take that foot back. This is a much deeper twist if you start to take that foot back into the arch of the right foot. So the left knee would fit right into that arch. reshift back into place and then settle in for time here. Close your eyes and relax, keeping in mind that restorative is about softening and releasing. your body soften and mold to the surface that you're laying on.
start to walk your hands back underneath the shoulders and very slowly press up. And just flip yourself around to take your second side here. Once again, taking that left hip up to that stack. Turn yourself around to face that stack of blankets or your bolster. Get a little twist here and then lay yourself down. Now this side may twist differently than the other and that's okay. Sometimes that happens. Maybe lift up halfway through here and just retwist. Take those legs where you want them to be, either stacked on top of each other or somewhere in between, or you can even tuck that right knee into the arch of the left foot. A deep twist is really good for helping stimulate digestion, clearing out the intestines, helping bring fresh blood to this area.
Gently start to walk your hands on either side of that stack. Press yourself up, nice and slow. We're gonna use those blankets a little bit differently. So go ahead and bring your chair in a little bit closer so it's on your mat or at least stable against a wall. We're gonna take one of those beach towels or blankets and we're gonna fold it so it's sort of a half square where we have a little bit hanging over the front edge of that chair. And then we're gonna take that same fold that we have for that one blanket, and place it at the bottom of the chair just in preparation for laying down on this. So from here, we're gonna take our hips and do feet up a chair. So set yourself on that blanket right next to the chair, lean over and then swing those feet around. Now, some people like to be closer to the chair. Some people like to have a little bit more of a slant so you can always shift that blanket and move yourself away. But use that blanket to support your entire lower back hip area so you have a softness underneath. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath you, roll the shoulders back, let the palms face up. Let your knees fall open just a little bit if that feels comfortable for you and your heels relax. This pose is really wonderful for helping reboot the lymphatic system. We have a lot of fluid that accumulates just because of gravity and the way we spend our day and allowing that flow to reverse there are very few lymph nodes in the legs, but there are a lot of them in the belly and pelvis and chest. So allowing that lymph material to flow backwards, going into the lymph nodes, refreshing, and then when we turn back around, fresh lymph moves down into the lower body, helps stimulate this system. Maybe turn your head left and right a couple of times, just loosening up the neck. allowing everything to feel soft and your breath to soften. This pose is also great for helping you slow down physically and mentally in this time of sort of change and transition between seasons.
Just about one more minute here. I know that sometimes I take this pose and I can stay here forever and fall asleep here. It's very settling and grounding. One more deep inhale and exhale. And gently start to bring those knees into your chest. You're gonna roll over to your right side. Take a couple of breaths here because we've been on our back for a little while. And then press yourself up nice and slow. We're gonna take this same setup and use it for a forward fold. So take your blanket, scoot it back a little bit. You can pull that chair a little bit closer. We're gonna take that right leg out straight underneath the chair edge, left foot into the knee or the leg, upper leg. I like to take the blanket on the chair and fold it a little bit taller because my fold is not that deep. And then sitting on the edge of this back blanket, this is gonna give you a little natural pelvic tilt. Lean yourself forward, and if you can rest your forehead or your hands or whatever, you can even fold that blanket a little bit more. If you wanna rest your head on it, make that adjustment. We're not gonna be here for quite as long. You can let that right knee be a little bit soft, lifting up away from the floor. Remember in restorative, we're allowing the poses to do the work for us. So this is actually a mild twist. As you turn yourself a little bit over that right leg, you're getting a gentle twist. In this practice, we're working through the liver and kidneys, those meridians, helping detoxify the body, help boost natural detoxification. See if you can soften your belly, inside of your legs, just letting everything go. Using the chair to give you the support you need.
last minute here. Start to gently press yourself back up. You're gonna take your hand behind and under that right leg. Bring it in and you switch legs out. So taking that left leg out straight, right leg into the inner thigh or knee, letting it drop out to the side. Here again, a little bit of a twist involved in this. So you can just turn yourself over that left knee and start to lean yourself forward. Remembering that each side is very different. So for me, this side is quite a bit more stuck, so it takes a little bit more time, patience with it. Letting that left knee be soft if you need to. Allowing everything to soften and release. Gentle, slow breaths, extending the exhale. Helping the body slip into that parasympathetic nervous system, that heal, rest, digest, restore.
last minute. Very slowly starting to press yourself up from the chair, taking the hand to the inside of that knee and pulling it back around here. We're gonna shift that chair off to the side because we won't be using it for this last pose. Putting that off to the side. Taking our blankets and refolding them a little bit here. So we're gonna take one blanket and make it into a roll for our knees. And then one blanket we're gonna just unfold just a little bit, flip it the other way so we can use this as for our neck and head. And settling down for a supported, supported Shavasana. So adjusting everything so that you have that resting point here. You can tuck the blanket underneath the neck and a roll to help support your neck. Let your feet fall wide. Shift your hips a little bit so they're in rocking a little bit side to side. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath, arms out to the side, and just soften. Here, just take some time in Shavasana to feel really grounded, connected to the earth element. Whenever you feel disoriented or your digestion is off, Reconnecting to that earth element, that grounding stability can really help reset that. In these seasonal transitions, one way to assist your digestion in making the transition is to begin eating some of the foods from the next season. Starting to eat maybe fall foods in this transition between summer and fall. Eating more spring foods in that transition from winter to spring. Helping the body readjust organically. Taking time to dry brush two or three times a week or more. Helping stimulate the skin the lymphatic system. This helps detoxify your body, helps prepare you for the next season. Also makes for really truly beautiful skin. Drinking lots of water. Helping the kidneys and the liver flush clear and do their jobs better. You can stay here in Shavasana, supported here for as long as you possibly can, taking as much time as you need in this resting pose to feel grounded and connected, to be still amidst a whirlwind of change and transition. But if this is all the time that you have for your practice, go ahead and bend your knees, bring your feet flat. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those knees into your chest, give them a little squeeze. Bring your nose to your knees, your knees to your nose. And then softly roll over to your right side, taking a couple of breaths here on your right side. Gently pressing yourself up to whatever seated position you like best, using your props if you like. 
taking the hands palms down into the lap or on the knees, sitting up nice and tall. And then take one hand to your heart, one fingertips on the left hand side to the floor where you're touching ground. Connecting to that feeling of grounding and stability, the earth element. Softly bringing your palms together at the heart space. Peace and namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope this helps you transition from season to season. The more you sort of work with a seasonal change and you help it go along, you'll begin to notice how it kicks in, when it kicks in. For you, it may be two weeks before the normal season transition for most people. And that's because you're becoming more aware of your body's natural cyclical seasonal changes. The body is attuned to this. It is attuned to it far before the weather actually just drops. So it's that notice that's giving you a little bit of awareness that it's coming. So you might want to start kind of working into it. Listen to your body, become body aware, work with your body, support it in this process, and you will feel a thousand times better as you transition from season to season. It will seem like just a natural, seamless transition, or at least I hope so for you. If you like this practice, please like and comment down below. If you are not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button over to your right hand side and join me each week for practices like this and much, much more. If you are looking for more practices and a little bit more depth to your practice, you can join me at the yogaranger.vhx.tv. That is my member site. Lots of extras there, new member videos every single week, extra resources, journal prompts, recipes, essential oil recipes, and so much more, as well as a live call every single month and a Facebook page dedicated to that community to get to know each other and share whatever it is you would like to share with other people. Connect. So join me there. There's a link up above and down below. We'd love to see you there. But if not there, we'd love to see you here again on YouTube each week. Check back often. Thank you so much. Have a great week.